connect the F6 smart scanner to an available USB port on your computer. Power the scanner on by holding down the power button briefly until the red LED turns on. Open the Echo app and click on the scan slice of the Echo Pie at the top left corner of the screen. Click on Settings, then click on Camera. This is where you import the camera's calibration files and configure the system to work with multiple cameras. Define a new name for the camera without any spaces. Then click Add Path. The app looks for the folder where the files are, on the thumb drive or on the hard drive if you copied them there, in order to load them into the software. Then click on the camera and select Choose. Now that the calibration files have been loaded, we can begin scanner configuration. As you can see at the top of the screen, there are several camera modes available for scanning. Now let's go through and configure each one. At the same time, we can configure the IR, color, MVX, and rendering settings, which we have at the bottom left of the screen. After selecting the IR camera mode at the top, let's go in and see our IR settings at the bottom. By default, we're in auto mode, and this is the mode that we should stay in for our scanning. No changes should be required. Now let's go into 2D camera mode and click color at the bottom for our manual and auto color settings. Use the manual mode to adjust the exposure and gain as needed. Point the scanner to a white wall or blank sheet of paper and click on the white balance button. This is especially important when working outdoors. Remaining in 2D camera mode, let's go and define our MVX settings. Frames per second should be adjusted to 8. Click on data layers and you'll see the following settings. If you make any changes, click Save. Clicking on the 3D camera mode, you can see a decoding of a single frame. 3D Plus is used for online registration. It is recommended as the live scanning view. The 3D overview shows a real-time preview of the 3D model in progress, showing the model being built. Returning to the settings at the bottom of the screen, click Rendering. Here you can adjust the point cloud saturation, the distance from pure gray with zero being no color at all, the particle size, the point cloud intensity, which is the lightness and the camera distance. Zoom in and out. On the right hand side of the screen you have the following options. You can click here to enter full screen mode. You can click here at the bottom if you want to rotate the image view. And in the middle you have a point filter slider in millimeters used to adjust the from to scanner distance before the scan. This will filter out any points beyond this distance.